Hello everyone. In this session, we will be discussing about acceleration analysis of slider crank mechanism. As in the last lecture, uh, we have studied about velocity analysis of slider crank mechanism. So, let's start with acceleration analysis and before that let's make the velocity diagram for this slider crank very quickly. Uh, consider this velocity diagram in which OA is a crank which is rotating with constant angular velocity omega radian per second in the clockwise direction AB is a connecting rod and B is a slider which is reciprocating about line OB clear then to start with the velocity analysis O is the fixed length or the fixed point so velocity of point A with respect to O or the absolute velocity of A on link OA will be perpendicular to the link yes and its magnitude will be omega into distance OA this we know that velocity of any point on the link is perpendicular to the link and its magnitude is omega times the distance of the point from the fixed center in the same way velocity of point B with respect to A will be perpendicular to the link AB yes it will be perpendicular to link AB that is velocity of B with respect to A will be either in the upward direction or downward but it will be perpendicular to AB and the velocity of the slider will be along the line OB that is velocity of B with respect to O or velocity of B will be along this horizontal line OB so to draw the velocity diagram uh, as we have done it earlier also let's consider a point O then velocity of point A with respect to O will be perpendicular to OA so draw a vector O small a which is representing velocity of a and its magnitude is omega into OA in the direction perpendicular to link OA we know the magnitude as well as direction but for point B on link AB we know that velocity of B with respect to A is perpendicular to AB so from point A draw vector AB which is known in direction only perpendicular to the link AB also the absolute velocity of B or the velocity of slider or we can see the velocity of B with respect to O is along this horizontal line OB so from point small O draw a horizontal line which meets the vector AB at point B this OB represents velocity of B and this AB represents velocity of B with respect to A this we have already done so now we will be doing with acceleration diagram we know that for this slider crank mechanism total acceleration will be equals to total acceleration of any point will be equals to the radial acceleration plus the tangential acceleration that is total acceleration at a point is equal to the vector sum of its radial acceleration and the tangential acceleration that means 
if we consider point A on link OA, so the total acceleration of point A with respect to O will be radial acceleration of A with respect to O plus tangential acceleration of point A with respect to O. That means F radial AO is omega of AO square into distance AO plus that means vector addition we are doing vector addition and tangential is written as angular acceleration multiplied by distance AO but in this case tangential component is 0 as alpha is 0 because rate of change of angular velocity is angular acceleration and angular velocity is constant so for this case total acceleration of point A with respect to O will be omega square AO upon into distance AO or we can write it as velocity of A square upon a O and this radial component is parallel to link and towards center that is well radial acceleration of A with respect to O will be along OA that is parallel to link OA and towards O so let's start drawing consider point O and draw a vector O A dash representing radial acceleration of A with respect to O or we can write total acceleration of A with respect to O and its magnitude is velocity of A square upon distance AO and it is parallel to OA. Clear? Then from point A dash, all the namings in the acceleration diagram are A dash, B dash, etc. Now, acceleration of total acceleration of B with respect to A will be the vector sum of its radial component and tangential component. So first radial component of acceleration of point B with respect to A will be parallel to AB. So from point A dash draw a vector A dash X say this is A dash X which represents radial component of B with respect to A and its magnitude will be V square of B A upon sorry B A this is B A and V square B A that is velocity of B with respect to A that V B A can be from the velocity diagram vector A B so we know the magnitude as well as direction so from point A dash we will draw A dash X which is radial component of B with respect to A now tangential component of point B with respect to A will be perpendicular to link AB or perpendicular to A dash X. So from X draw a vector X B dash which represents which represents tangential 
component of point B with respect to A and this is known in direction only. Also the motion of the slider is along the horizontal direction OB. So total acceleration of the slider will be along horizontal line. So from point O draw a horizontal line OB dash which represents the total acceleration of point B and it meets the vector XB dash at point B dash. So this OB dash represents total acceleration of slider and join A dash B dash this A dash B dash represents total acceleration of B with respect to A clear this O A dash X B dash is the required acceleration diagram where O A dash represents total acceleration of A with respect to O this A dash B dash represents total acceleration of B with respect to A and this vector O B dash represents velocity oh sorry acceleration of the slider. Now we know that tangential component of B with respect to A will be equals to alpha of a b into the distance a b or b a then this alpha a b will be equals to tangential component of acceleration of b with respect to a that is vector x b dash upon the distance a b yes we can take this rotable scale and convert it into the acceleration unit that is meter per second square for linear acceleration and we'll get the angular acceleration of link AB that is connecting rod. Now to find the angular acceleration we will require tangential component of B with respect to A upon AB. Clear? Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, for more videos you can subscribe to my YouTube channel Gagan Bansal that is G-A-G-A-N B-A-N-S-A-L or for any query you can mail me at Gagan Bansal 12345 at the rate gmail.com or Gagan Bansal at the rate G-E-U dot A-C dot in. Thank you. Thank you so much.